Hi guys, this is RC from Happy Pie and today I would be teaching you how to use the custom form builder. Now you have to go to your app pages and select the form builder page. When you click on that you would see three options. One is the appointment page, the quote page and the custom form builder. So the appointment page is pretty much set. You just need to fill in the date for which you want the appointment and you have to set up an appointment schedule so that uh, your availability can be marked. So once you activate that you can actually mark the timings for your availability. If you're a clinic, if, if you're a shop or if you're any other service provider. Uh, you can specify the dates when you're closed. Uh, you can also uh, request an appointment as a subject. And the most interesting part is you can add more fields here so you can change it the way you like. From the appointment you move on to the next one which is the quote form. The quote form basically uh, requires you to put in an email ID to which you want your inquiries to be sent. So once you put your email ID here and a subject requesting a quote and anybody clicking on this and clicking on the submit button would be sending you a request for a quote. Now the most interesting bit here is the custom form builder. Now this basically means to say that you can create a form just the way you like. You can call it what you like here. You can enter an email ID wherein you want your inquiries to be sent. Uh, the subject can be defined, the description can be given, a header image can be added here and uh, most interestingly the fields can be uh, of your liking. So you can change it all here. And add more fields if you want. You can also put in the payment settings if this is a paid page so you'll have to enter the PayPal ID. You can change the way the submit button looks or uh, the text that goes on top of that and uh, the success message so once somebody has clicked on submit what is the message that is shown uh, all that can be customized. So it's a great feature try it out thanks.
Hi guys, this is RC from RPPI and today I would be teaching you how to add the developer account login credentials to your app. Simply go to the My Apps area of your account and go to the Go Live section. You need to scroll down and you have options to say whether you would like to publish the app yourself or you would like AppyPy to do it for you and uh, depending on what you want you can click on the, one of these radio bu buttons here. Uh, then you have options uh, to know whether you would like to sell your app and uh, you can also enter an app description for Google Play. You have some dummy data here which you could change. Uh, you, can, you have to enter the app keywords here and uh, also have the option to provide screenshots for the app or instruct Abipi to create them for you. Now for publishing the app, uh, would you like to do it on your own or you would like the Abipi team to submit your app? So if you are doing that, you will have to provide the access of your Google Play developer account to AppyPi. For doing that, you simply have to provide your Google Play developer account details. Uh, for example, I've put something here and uh, that's a username and the password and I say save and update. And it's done. Successfully updated. So uh, I have uh, created the login credentials for my developer account and I have simply provided them here.